Hello and welcome back to the Conquest Racing Club. Welcome back to another unboxing review. Uh, today we're going to look at one of my latest uh, Carrera purchases. It's another GT3 car, obviously. Uh, I love GT3 cars and uh, picking this one up was a no-brainer. This is Jensen Rocket Team's uh, McLaren 720S. This is uh, particularly cool because it's the world fastest gamer. Uh, with James Baldwin at the wheel, with Michael O'Brien as his co-pilot for the British GT series. So, um, without much further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's take a look at this car. So, this livery is very striking. It has got the highlighted yellow, white, and black livery. But what makes this car truly iconic is it is the blending of esports gaming into the real world. So... In 2019, uh, James Baldwin won the eSports World Fastest G uh, Gamer Series. Uh, that allowed him to get a drive in a real GT3 car in 2020. So Jensen Rocket had a car, uh, McLaren 720S, that was going to run in the British GT Series. And James Baldwin, who was the winner in the virtual world of gaming, or the fastest gamer, uh, got to drive in a, his very first a GT3 series championship. And not only was this car very successful, but those the two drivers, James Baldwin and his co-pilot Michael O'Brien, uh, did really well in that GT championship. In fact, they won their opening race, which was like a you know Cinderella start, and they continued to compete and uh, you know final made made a really good push at the end uh, with a lot of coaching. From Jensen Button. So uh, this this car has a lot of series history, and if you'd like, there's lots of YouTube videos about it. So uh, I'll link a couple of them in the description below. But let's take a look at this car. So uh, once again, this is a Corolla digital car. Uh, you can tell it by the blue base that it's on. Um, it is mounted to the base with a screw, and uh, you know the two tabs will on either side will be uh, cut open to remove the clear case jewel cover. Um, a couple of things to note on the back. Once again, we always have that warning that this car cannot be run in one in 30 bank turns. I think this is general for most of the GG three cars. Also note that there is a pocket and in the pocket. There is instructions on this particular vehicle. There's uh, instructions on other location where you can buy Carrera or Carrera aff affiliated dealers, and then an extra guide pin, extra set of side view mirrors, uh, and some braids, right? So let's take this car off the base and let's look at it in final detail. Um, I'm going to pull it back up. Once again, MagForce is really good on these cars. Uh, Carrera does a really good job with magnetic downforce, as you can tell right here. I'm holding the car vertically towards the camera. Um, the first thing that caught my eye when I looked at this livery wasn't the striking yellow highlighter uh, color. It was really the sketch. Um, you know, this sketch here of a sim racer, right, uh, depicted on the door of the rail car. Uh, was really indicative of what this car is all about. It, it was the blending of bringing, giving the dream to a simu simulator racer, James Baldwin in this case, who won World's Fastest Gamer in 2019 and giving him his dream of being able to race a GT3 car. And, uh, you know, that in itself is just a little bit of history. And having that in a slot car representation was, you know, one of the main driving factors for me picking up this car. Um, I really also like this livery because between the two McLarens that I have, I, I've already reviewed the other one, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, this one is my favorite livery out of the two. Front end, it's a really nice swooping front end. Really iconic uh, McLaren lights. Um, we get to see the canards here. You get the uh, uh, one canard and then the front splitter here. As you super cross from the driver's side, um, I really like this uh, black and white ghosting of the Union Jack in there. Uh, and that's on the very deep front um, uh, vent that comes out just be beneath the driver's door here. So you get the driver's door and then you get this front vent that brings the air out 
of the vehicle and uh, right across to the back here you get a little bit of an air intake down here which brings the car uh, brings some air in to cool the rear brakes here so a lot of venting as we normally see in gt3 cars and uh, this is still well depicted in this vehicle here uh, we get the traditional mag black wheels from Carrera on this car. Uh, you get the nice number two. This is the British Grand Prix Racing. So, uh, sorry, British GT Racing Series. Um, so, <clears throat> a very simple uh, side view here. Uh, I really like the clean lines once again. Oh, most uh, GT3 cars have really cool, exquisite lines on them. Uh, and I really like the, you know, the swirling of the livery with the highlighted yellow going up and the black lines taking you through the back of the car. Uh, the rear of the car is, once again, a very typical GT3 rear. Uh, lots of fins on the rear uh, diffuser. Um, you know, we get the iconic McLaren headlights here. Really nice when they lit up. And we'll see that on the track. Uh, you get the twin exhaust system over there. You get a GT3 symbol. Um, G3 sticker on there as well, so no code sticker. On the front of the hood here, we get this really big active air intake here. Uh, so, you know, once again, a lot of air flowing through this vehicle at all times, uh, which is very indicative of GT3s. So, uh, and a lot also GT3 cars have a lot of air on them. So, we see that represented on this car once again. We get the Intelligent Money uh, banner right across the top of the windscreen. We get the World Fastest Gamer 2 logo right on the top of the roof. And as we sweep back, we get a clear opening here uh, with a window. There's nothing through it. And a couple of louvers in the back here. Uh, once again, I'm going to point out the driver is well depicted inside uh, the greenhouse here. Uh, we get uh, a little bit of logo on the seat uh, headrest here. And uh, the driver is cut off just below his shoulders. He's wearing a white racing suit with a little bit of lime green on it. And then you got James Baldwin's iconic helmet that he wore during this uh, racing series. Um, as we sweep through to the passenger side, once again, it's a mirror reflection of the driver's side. There is nothing on the interior passenger side here. Normally there's sapphire extinguishers, but not on this vehicle. Uh, and yeah, we get the exact mirror finish of the car uh, from the driver's side. So once again, uh, very beautiful GT3 car. Um, I'm very happy to have it in my collection, but let's put it on the track and let's see what it does. All right, so let's take a look at the results from the track side. Um, so once again, we put the car on the DTT track, we did 10 laps. 
Uh, the car does not go off during those 10 laps, has to stay on the track. Uh, those are repeated until it does it. So, unfortunately, um, sorry, fortunately, this car did it in its first shot. Uh, I only took 10 laps around the track and I got a 4.143 seconds, which I knew was blistering fast. So, when we look at this in terms of the leaderboard here, so when I go to the leaderboard, you will see that now this car is in the top of the GT3 bracket, right? So if I if I just trim this down to GT3 and apply the filter here, uh, you will notice that it is standing at number one on the GT3. So really, really fast. Um, only six thousandths of a second faster than the Ferrari that I did last week. But it begged me to question because the older McLaren, once again, stock, 720s did 4.562 seconds so i was wondering whether it's uh, you know the difference in the car or it's a difference in the driving because obviously maybe i've got a little bit more comfortable racing on this track and um, you know uh, maybe that has caused me to get quicker with these cars but we will Pay more attention to that as we move further along, as we test more cars. I'll start to see if that's a pattern that's emerging. Um, but maybe practice is making me a bit better. So uh, that's a good thing. All right. So let's talk about my final thoughts on this vehicle. Um, once again, great car. You know, uh, delivery is so striking. If you're into sim racing, which I am, uh, this is a no-brainer to add to your collection if you're into slot, car, uh, slot cars as well. Um, as a livery in its own right, I think it stands the test of time. The highlighted yellow, the white, the black uh, just blend really well with this vehicle. So uh, definitely two thumbs up from me. I really like this car. I'm glad that it's part of my collection. What are your thoughts on this vehicle? Let me know. Do you think... Uh, James Baldwin should have had another season in GT3 racing. He's currently looking for another seat. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I think it's phenomenal what he did. Um, you know, coming from sim racing to real world racing, winning in your deb debut and almost winning the whole championship uh, or putting yourself in contention to win the whole championship uh, was awesome. And it was really fun to, you know, Take that journey with him so i'm really excited for him i hope he gets another uh drive and uh, once again let me know you in the comments below what your thoughts are um once again if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and we will be producing another video every week all right uh to wrap up this video i just want to talk about a sneak peek that's coming up um i recently went out and i purchased my first two scholectric cars uh, for this year um i have some scholectrics in the past but uh recently i was intrigued in getting some scholectrics and the reason for that is i want to do a career to scholectric comparison but i got lucky i picked up uh, GT3 car, which is uh, this beautiful Bentley Continental, which I'm really excited to get. And I also picked up, for the comparison video, uh, the C8R from Scalectric. And to put them on the digital track and run them against my digital cars, I also picked up our Carson chip. So uh, in the next video, I will be chipping these two vehicles and putting them on the track and we'll see what they do. And I'll give you my thoughts between Carrera and Scalectric. So that's coming up next week. And if that's something that excites you, like I said, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Until then, have fun on rails, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.